All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I hope everyone is doing great. I know that I still am, as you can probably guess. I am recording this after the last episode that I recorded after the last episode that I recorded after the last episode. We're doing a huge recording today, honestly. Um, I feel like getting through a lot of this, um, you know, fetch and retrieve of the Eye of Enders. Uh, it's nice to get all done in one sitting. I'm having a really fun time with it, too. Uh, and so I figured we would just kind of keep the roll going and keep moving forward with it so if you guys are enjoying these episodes feel free to leave a like down below it helps me out so very much it lets me know that you guys are enjoying um and besides that the view count always lets me know that you guys do enjoy the series just as much as i enjoy playing this game and putting this content out there for you guys um so that's always good to see and i do want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you have given to the series as well as the channel uh, but without further ado, we're going to hop into things. So we give a high level overview of what the DLC has to offer that we're playing with right now. And then we're going to jump into what our main goal is for today. So again, just to reiterate, we are playing the Echoing Voids DLC for Minecraft Dungeons. It dropped on July the 28th, 2021. I think it goes for about six bucks uh, if you do buy it uh, standalone. If you do have the season pass, you should get it included within that. Now, the... Uh, Echoing Void DLC it does give us access into the End Dimension. However, in order for us to get to the End Dimension, we do need to collect six Eyes of Ender to return to our, the Stronghold to actually open the portal to the End, which is pretty cool that we need to do that before we can even get to the End Dimension. So we've gone on a lot of these missions already, actually four to be specific, to collect the Eyes of Enders from mini bosses in the mainland locations marked with the little Eye of Ender above them. I, I would assume these are the same across the board, these locations, um, based upon what we've seen thus far in the customization that they put into each location that you fight the mini boss in. I would assume they are, uh, but you guys will have to let me know. But anyway, we have to go and collect all six of them. Once we have all six, we can actually go to the stronghold. I think you can actually go to the stronghold right now as it is, but there's really no point to do it. I would assume, unless you had all of the Eyes of Ender, because otherwise you're going to be going back to the Stronghold again once you do collect all of those. So I recommend going through, getting all your Eyes of Ender, and then checking out the Stronghold. The other thing, too, that is very nice about this DLC is they have caked it in that you do if you do buy it one-off and you don't have any of the other DLCs, right? Everything is contained within the base game and the DLC content, right? So... All of the Eyes of Ender, they are only going to be in the mainland. They're not going to be in any of the island realms or in any of the other dimensions. So if you only had the base game and bought this DLC, you'd be able to run through it with no problem at all. Now, with that being said, we're going to get into what we're doing today. So like I said, we've collected four of them already. We've gone through the Creeper Woods, the Soggy Swamp, Pumpkin Pastures, the Cacti Canyon, and now we're going to head over to the Desert Temple. Now, our power level did get bumped up, unfortunately. So it is going to be a little bit tricky for us to go through here um, because of our level now. Uh, it's not going to be as straightforward, I would assume. So uh, this might take a little bit longer than normal, but we'll kind of ultimately see how things shape up. But with that being said, we are going to just hop on into it. Now, I could have bumped down to a lower level, but... I think we'll be perfectly fine. So, and I am going to skip through the narration at the front end of this. I always do. If you guys do want to check out the full, full story of the mainland, I highly recommend going and checking out our full playlist around Minecraft Dungeons here on the channel. So, we have five secrets in total, seven chests to open. Um, that's as of the start of the level here. We do now have our electric arrow quiver. I'm super excited to try this bad boy out. It looks super cool, and uh, hopefully it does some really, really good damage. I think I'm going to put it in place right off the bat. Why not? Uh, and then we're just going to take a look around here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this thing is its pretty quick, and it's pretty sick. Does some good damage. Not as cool, I would say, as our spectral arrows. I think those still get a one-up over um, over them. Just because those do a good amount of knockback, and I think the knockback really is what sells it. It goes very they're very slow moving arrows, and they grow, and then they also provide a really good amount of knockback. 
Whereas this is kind of a, you know, one hit and that's about it, right? But if we do hit infinity on it, then we're good to go. We could be getting, you know, not only those five initial ones that we get for the lightning arrows, but we could be getting uh, even more, so. And let's see what we got here. Is this going to be our one-off path right off the bat? Because I honestly don't remember this being a way forward previously, so this could already be the way we need to be going right here. Take a look at our map. Uh, nope. Doesn't look to be the case, unfortunately. I was really hopeful that it, it was the way. But we'll continue on our main path here. Where's our stairs? There they are. So yeah, I have speculated a lot around what's coming next for Minecraft Dungeons um, in the past, what, four episodes? So I'm not going to go over it again. Um, if you are interested to hear my thoughts around it, I highly recommend checking out previous videos. Uh, now, as I think of new things that I would love to see in the game, of course I'll keep mentioning them. Or I will bring them up because uh, it, it's just pretty interesting uh, as you play through to realize, hey, you know, this would be a really nice feature to have. Um, and one of those being like the ability to the ability to switch armors, right? To have a secondary armor set that you could easily switch to when you need it. Like one that would be quick, right? Like cheetah armor or something like that. Or ocelot armor, I think is what it's called. Would be super nice to have. Um, that, that ability. <clears throat> or the ability to re-roll enchantments on your armor and your gear. Uh, that'd be very, very cool to have. Alright, there we go. Got the golden key. We're well on our way. Now we need to find the tomb. Is there anything up this way? Always so random, these little side areas that you can go through. A little little loop-de-loop -loop and roll through there. Skip over that. Nothing here. We do have a side path over here. I believe we've gone this way before. Um, so I don't think this is anything necessarily net new. This is where you can find the secret location, which I believe is the... I forget what the secret location name is for um, this area. Maybe the lower temple, something along those lines. Um, but this is where you can find it. So we'll go through real quick and we'll just knock this out because why not? We're already here. We're already taking these enemies out. Maybe we'll find some good loot. Yeah, the knockback is just really... It, it's next to nothing, man. Like, this is so such a good loadout with what we have. And if I could find another harp bow that had three slots that also had infinity on it and grow it's it would be really hard man it'd be really hard to find a bow that is exactly like our our harp crossbow um I, is it impossible i don't think so but it definitely would take a long time for us to find something along those lines and once we do i'm holding on to that to the end of time because <laughs> really that is what makes this build what it is so here's where you could find the secret location if you were curious but there's nothing else for us here. Thought maybe we would get a chest or something, but it's okay. But yeah, our harp crossbow, it, it really is a key piece of our entire build. We do have an invoker here and a loot pig as well. Did we take out that invoker? I think we did. I think we also took out that loot pig, did we not? I think we did. I will miss our bees. I do wish we had our bees. But we can't have everything, right? And hopefully once those get upgraded, we will be good. We did throw our beehive into our upgrades. And would you look at that? We don't waste any of our electric arrows. So we had the electric arrows in our quiver and then I hit the uh, spectral quiver. And uh, it kind of just backlogged those electric ones for when we were done with the spectral arrows. Alright, got all those guys taken out. Let's get our iron golem back in. Let's not get completely smushed. 
And we'll get all these guys taken out. Yeah, the, the arrows just do so much good damage to these guys. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Anything that we're missing out on? Nothing that I am noticing, so we should be fine to keep moving forward. We do have a enchanted necromancer here. With power, frenzied, and rush. Uh, but he was no match. We were able to get him taken out. And we died. Ah! I saw that coming. I was just thinking to myself, we should probably be careful around these, but... Hey, it is what it is. We, we are uh, A-OK -okay for the time being. Any secrets over here? Nothing. Oops. My bad. Gotta be careful, man. Gotta be a little bit more careful. Careful. Alright, we're gonna have some bosses. Or not bosses. We're gonna have a fight here. Very interesting noise that it made. Uh, but we should be able to fight some of these guys and get some health from them. We did pick up a, um... Strength potion there, which is super useful. Round two. Not too bad. We'll take all these guys out. Let's make sure we're not standing on the, uh... On the blades that are rotating there. Alright, taken out, taken out. Everybody taken out. Got a bunch of emeralds over there. We'll grab those. Um, we do have some supplies here. I will grab all of that. Thank you very much. Um, and whoa, what is this? The hip hopping in place to be, man. Look at all these guys. I do like the lightning. It kind of chain reacts to all of the enemies around the area. Anything over here? Nothing really. So... Keep on moving on. That is the main goal. We do have another loot pig there. Anything good? Nothing good. Is there anything good back here that I overlooked? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, we'll keep moving forward then. Any secrets over this direction? Nothing. Dang, man. We really aren't having any good luck here. Alright, taken out. Um, and then how do we get around here? There we go. The logical way. Me not really paying attention. Alright, we do have a chest right here, man. Right up there. Definitely thought that guy was taken care of. Ooh, all the goodies. Including a strength potion, I will definitely take that. I'm kind of curious how far we need to go in to find this um, side area for the Eye of Ender, man. We do have another Invoker, of course. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am playing on Apocalypse mode. So if stuff isn't exactly tying to what um, you're playing, um, that's going to be why, so... And taken out. Bada bing, bada boom. We did get another Venom Glave. And we did level up. Would you look at that? Another bump up in our overall level, which is awesome. We are now level 98, guys. We're two levels away from 100. Okay, it does look like there's a secret way over here. Yeah, right here. Okay, got them taken out. 
We obviously need to hit this button here. That's a new one. Little pokey sticks coming out of the grounds there. All right, we have found the area we need to be in, so that's good. Strength potion will definitely take. Get out of my way, fool. There is our, there's an Enderman down there. It's not the one that we care about, not the main boss guy, um, but we are gonna have to take him out. There's two Endermen now. Oh, this is great. Super enjoying this. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Died. Not the uh, most ideal place to be fighting Endermen, I would say. If I could at least get one of these guys taken out, I'd be pretty content. There we go. We got both of them taken out. We are rushing a little bit through this, I will admit, so. And this, dude, these electric arrows are so cool. Chest down here with a short bow in it. Ooh, look at this, guys. Look at all this lava down here. This will be interesting to go through. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like both ways are going to kind of suck. What in the hell? Yeah, let's get them to be down there. That's fine. You guys can stay in there. Just get taken out. Oh, just made it through there. This top-down perspective is a little bit freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Can I get over there? Alright, we do have a chest in here. Pot, pot, and pot. Okay. And then I guess we keep moving forward? This is definitely one of the more unique ones to go through. Ooh, lots of traps and the last one they're like let's make this more difficult how can we make it more difficult dude this is gonna be kind of tough okay get through all right get through there we go so not too bad, we made it. Oh, smokes, all right. Through there we go. And of course we got stuck by a spider, so I can't move, there we go. And now we need a golden key, are you kidding me right now? All right, so we have to go all the way around to find this golden key. Last one, they were like, yeah, let's make key get more keys. Let's make it difficult with keys. Now they're like, let's do keys and um, <laughs> these things. This is a pretty cool, like, arena, though, to be fighting in right now. Well, I guess I picked them up. I didn't mean to pick them up. And we got a chest. Let's take a look. Okay. So now we need to make it back without taking any damage. I guess it's not too bad. We made it back pretty easily. Let's wait. Okay. Get through. Wait.
And there we go. We made it all the way through there. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, and there's even more to go. This might be a little bit longer than some of the other episodes that we've had. Finding all of these um, eyes of Indurus. I think we're good. We made it through mostly. There's one more we gotta get over there. Alright, I'll let them deal with that. Oh my gosh! Okay. I walked into that thinking, not thinking anything of it, and uh, there was a lot of booby traps there. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I went at the exact wrong time for that one. I just pushed those guys into the lava. And we do have the main arena here, as you guys can see. Oof, this is gonna be a cool fight, right? Like, off the bat, this is gonna be so cool looking. I'm really excited. Alright, let's take a hot second. I want our... Oh, never mind! I wanted our health potion to regen here. But I guess I don't have an option because he already spawned in here. Look at this dude. I mean, we fought these guys before, but look at this, like, arena that he fights in. Big yikes, okay. That did some gnarly damage, man. I feel like with our bees we had better better chance, right? Oh he he got us good, man. Not too much commentary, guys, as I am uh, going through and taking this guy on. I'm trying to focus as much as we can here. Oh, my Lanta. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm stuck on. I can't move. I'm not even joking. I can't move right now. I, I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I have no idea what I got stuck on. I, like, got stuck in a pit or something like that, but I couldn't roll. I couldn't do anything. We are on our last chance, so let's be smart about this. Alright, anytime he disappears, we're gonna wanna move. Alright, move. Cause he's gonna- oh! He got us. I can't move. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Get this guy in here. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, focus all time high, man. Uh, so, so that's what it is. Like, if he gets close to you like that, he can really suck you in and you can't really do anything about it. But we're almost at the end of the fight. I think we'll be able to make it. At least I hope we're able to make it. There we go. We were able to get him taken out. Ooh. We did get a truth seeker. And there is the eye of Ender that we need. Let's take a look at this truth seeker here. 
3,500 3, melee damage thrust attack, increased damage to wounded mobs, and you did get a plus one to soul gathering. Um, some cool stuff on here. Guarding, strike, radiance, and refreshment. Exploding, swirl, looting, weakening, and the void strike, which is pretty cool. Um, 600 max damage multiplier. Now, for us, we do have critical hit, which uh, is pretty nice. We also have leeching, which uh, does a good amount of stuff for us as well. And we picked up a bunch of junk along the way, too. So let's get rid of a lot of this stuff in our inventory. That's pretty cool. You could do lightning, poison, and soul focus all on that. Resist any form of knockback. That's pretty funny. Um, what is this one? The shadow blast. I think we've seen that before. Yeah. Cleaning up the old inventory here. All right, so we are good to go. We do have a health potion. Let's definitely use that. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. Nope, we should be good to go. Well, didn't mean to do that. Thought I was going to roll over that. Not going to worry too much about that pot over there. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, and where did this place us? Right back at the start here, so. Cool. Back on the main path we go then to take out the uh, the boss, which should be the next room here. Yep. Fetch the staff. And, uh, and then from there, we should be good. Now this guy is going to be nothing compared to what we just took on. He does do some good damage, don't get me wrong. Okay, maybe he is a little bit... Game over, too! Oh, no! Oh, bummer. Well, we still got the Eye of Ender regardless. You're not always going to get a W out of it. Uh, I, I guess I spoke way too soon on it, realistically. Uh... <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, but that is going to be five of our six right there, which is good. None of these are going to be updated because obviously we we did die through that, so we we unfortunately cannot go through and uh, take advantage of that. None of this stuff is going to be a, a step further either. So, but uh, we're going to wrap it up there, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. I appreciate it so very much. If you could, if you did enjoy, obviously. Uh, if you are new here and you do want to follow along, I highly recommend hitting that subscribe button and bell notification will let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. And considering we only have one more episode before we can actually get to that stronghold, definitely recommend doing it. We do stream over on Twitch on Mondays and Fridays at about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but that is always subject to change, and I do announce those changes over on our community Discord. If you're interested in checking out either of those, the links are in the description down below for your convenience. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As we go through the Echoing Void DLC of Minecraft Dungeons. We are so close to actually being able to get into the meat and potatoes of the DLC. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. But with that being said guys, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Take it easy.